Willkommen zurück zu Tales of Beseria, wo wir Marina aus unserem Gefängnis hier irgendwie wieder hochpraxeln wollen. Denn wir haben quasi ein Ziel für uns und das ist Nordgend, wo wir vor Ewigkeiten mal waren. Da wollen wir heute halt wieder hin. Und dann mal schauen, was wir dort Tolles Neues erreichen können. Ob wir einen neuen Therion finden oder nicht oder vielleicht. Mal gucken. So, ich muss gerade so ein bisschen aufpassen, dass ich auch richtig laufe. Aber hier gibt es durchaus Potenzial, dass man sich ein bisschen verlaufen kann. Heißt nicht, dass ich das tue, aber es, äh, ne? Ihr wisst, wie es ist. So, drum will ich einfach nur hoch. Schnellreise hier hoch ist nicht. Das heißt, wir müssen laufen. Und dann mal schauen. Sind links? Ich glaube ja. Sieht gut aus. Our next target is north of Pelavis, near the Faldi's ruins. In light of everything we know, I'd say it's highly likely we'll find a Therian there. Let's hope! Then we should make our first stop, Port Helavis. With the uh, mischief we got into last time. Getting into the city might prove difficult. Benwick, how are things in Helavis right now? That shipping guild that used to handle our mooring is pretty much toast. But for some reason, the Abbey isn't watching the port as much as they once were. Unfamiliar ships have been hauling in relief supplies, so if we pose as one of the transport ships, I think we can slip in. And if we divert some supplies to an unofficial channel, we might be able to secure a new mooring partner. Smuggling in relief supplies for our own disaster. Cheeky bastards, aren't we? It's what'll get us in. That much is true. It's a plan. Roger. I'll get right on it. Okay. Hey, Eleanor. Abbey exorcists don't pray to their tethered Malachim, do they? You mean something besides our oaths? An oath is a magical formula that grants you power in exchange for binding you to a rule, right? Yes, though that is simplifying it a bit. When Malachim receive human prayers, they bestow their blessings upon people in nature. Aizen told me that we Malachim grow stronger when humans pray to us. Prayers and blessings? I've never heard of that. I used to think the same way as the other exorcists. Malachim are merely tools that allow us the use of arts. Yeah, that's what I figured. But he know me not is different. The exorcists all worship him. They have faith in his mighty power. And not only that, the people of this nation pray to the Empyrean for salvation, just as Artorius instructs them. Ah, I get it now. See the wheels turning, do you, kiddo? Huh? Artorius founded the Abbey within the existing Church of the Empyreans, so that he could direct the people's thoughts towards Inominat, so that even while they lionize Artorius as their savior, they are made aware of Inominat's presence behind him. Everyone starts believing in Inominat. The prayers of the entire world go to him, becoming his power. After the centuries-long decline of Empyrean worship, he becomes stronger than anyone today could imagine. The pieces do fit. Oaths, prayers, blessings, the demon blight. So much in this world is affected by matters of the heart. They hold magical power, both effective and meddlesome. We are truly going up against the rest of the entire world, aren't we? Don't look so troubled, Eleanor. I'm gonna do my best to get stronger. So believe in me. I am a Moloch, after all. Oh, Laffy said. You've become so brave so quickly. Have I? But you're still cute when you get embarrassed. Hey, why is your face so red? Huh? My face isn't red. No, no, I... Okay, ein Brief. Hey, Eisen. What's it feel like to get a letter? I don't feel anything, nor do I want or need to. There's no joy in receiving these things. Huh? Why not? <laughs> don't be so shocked. Look, it's just an invoice from the Turtles. What's the big deal anyway? Do you wish you'd get letters too? Yeah. Meistens sind Briefe nichts Gutes. 
Zumindest in Deutschland. Er nimmt immer alles ernst. Okay. Gut. Hätten wir es auch geklärt, wie sich ein Brief anfühlt. Hallo. Gibt es noch so ein Stufe 4 Ding? Everything bound for LVs. With that much trade, I doubt anyone will suspect us. Any idea who can give us cover for docking? Not anyone in particular, but recently the power and influence of the Helvies Fishermen's Guild has caught my eye. The Fishermen's Guild, huh? Let's bring them some extra relief supplies. Fuel, drink, and as for the drink. Twelve-year-old Amber Draft. The sailors of Helvies have an eye for the stuff. You heard that from Dial, I take it. He's got a sharp eye. He took a bottle in payments, but I say we turn a blind eye to it. We thought we were the best at this kind of thing, but having him around has been a real eye-opener. Okay, but tell him if he takes a second, he'll pay for it. Eye for an eye. Aye, aye. I'll keep an eye on him so that he doesn't sneak off with another bottle. Das waren zu viel Eis in den letzten paar Sitzen. Okay, so. Können wir dann? The supplies are loaded. We can make for Helavis whenever you want. That was fast. If we weren't hard workers, we wouldn't be sailors. <laughs> Eleanor! <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Kamoana? She, uh, she said she had a dream about her mom. When mommy saw me, she said I looked scary. That she didn't want a scary little girl like me. <laughs> Your mother would never say that, sweetheart. But how can you be sure? Well, uh, how do I put it? I know because I know. You're just lying to make me feel better. <laughs> Aw, Kamawana, don't cry. I... <laughs> oh, this is the part I hate about little kids. That's right. Let it all out. Stop it! Stop it! Mommy! I saw my mommy! She didn't want me! <laughs> She managed to cry herself to sleep. 
They're not rational creatures. Sometimes you just gotta let them cry it out. You seem used to it. I guess you could say that. Luffy usually kept himself together when he was younger. But when he was really little, he had times like this every now and then. Uh. And on that note, let's take off all we can. My liege, Dial, I leave Kamoana in your care. I'll do what I can, but kids as sweet and honest as her are harder to deal with than corrupt bureaucrats. An outlaw prince and a talking lizard are no replacement for a mother. Das ist wohl wahr, aber manchmal muss man nehmen, was man kriegen kann. Oder sehe ich das falsch? I do hope Kamalana isn't crying anymore. Yeah. Shush. How long is it going to be before you send in another exorcist to replace Lady Teresa? With these demons clamoring at her gates, none of us feel safe anymore. You have our deepest sympathies, but we were sent here on a different mission. That's what the last exorcist who came here said before leaving for the north. What could be up there that's worth all that attention? Surely we're not all being punished by the Abbey for what happened with Medissa, are we? That is not the case. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business to attend to. So the exorcists are just passing through town and heading straight north. Odd. Let me get Dort, wo auch der Erdenpuls so stark ist. Ever since the calamity showed up. Everything's just gone to pot, I say. Calamity? What do you mean? I mean the demon who barged in and made a mess of our fair city. She's a nasty creature of pure evil, with an arm that eats anything that gets in her way. Haven't you heard of her? The Calamity's been rampaging across the whole kingdom, not just here. Scant few have seen her and survived. Huh. You don't say. After the Calamity raised our ships and our port, the shipping guild fell apart, and our trade routes got poached by other ports. It's bad. The town relies on trade to make ends meet. People are abandoning the city, and our streets are no longer safe. Not to mention the demon blight spreading again. Just the other day, a little kid turned into a demon. Just like that. What a world. What a world. What have the exorcists been doing during all of this? Well, Lady Teresa was in charge of this region. But she came up short against the Calamity, and got a fat demotion for her troubles. Several new exorcists have been reassigned here, but once they arrive, they all traipse right off to the ruins up north. This has to be Medissa's fault. If she hadn't gone and done something so stupid... Medissa... That's enough. This isn't something for outsiders to know. You're right. Sorry. <sighs> I'm really worried about what's going to come of this town. Sounds like Helovis isn't what it used to be these days. We need to ask around and find out more about what's going on here. Agreed. Especially regarding the Abbey and those ruins. I'm also curious about this Medissa woman. The ruins part makes sense, since the Earth Pulse point might be there. But why do you care who Medissa is? Just a hunch. Something tells me she's worth looking into. You're not gonna look into this calamity chick? Sounds like a real terror. Yeah, I think I'll pass. I already know plenty about what makes her tick. Echt woher? Are you all right, Madam Eleanor? Don't let those people get you down. I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Uh, but could you not do that thing where you blow air on me to dry my tears? All right, I'll just pat your head then. <laughs> that won't be necessary either. But really. Things are in a terrible state. The town burned, the guild ruined, the abbey all but gone. It won't be a functioning port for some time. You can't fault them for being upset. They had it real good here until we came along. Those Helovisians were like spoiled children. How so? Helovis was once a tiny fishing village. 
The bountiful northern seas provided plenty enough fish to sustain their trade. But Flamestone gave them an easy way to get rich. And once they got a taste, they abandoned their old craft. And now they're paying the price. But I've heard that the cooling temperature has covered half the northern sea in ice drift, making fishing much more difficult. Uh, but the drifting ice carries tiny organisms, enriching the waters where it melts. The fish should be more plentiful than ever. I suppose you may have a point. We're ones to talk after what we did, but taking the easy path, then complaining as soon as it gets hard, that seems... Spoiled, yes. You said it, Luffy said. I think my humble. appetite's getting a little overindulgent, too. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Just means you're healthy. Giant squid come to these waters in this season. Should I ask Benwick to fish some up? Yeah, and some normal octopuses, too. <laughs> the... This calamity normal is us, isn't it? Well... We've been waging war with the Abbey everywhere we go, and now we're about to take it to a new level. If we pull the next Therian off of the Earth Pulse point, it'll likely be Kamoana's village all over again. The same devastation? Ooh! I wonder if there's something worse than calamity that they can call us! This is no laughing matter. People turn into demons in part due to their own malevolence. It's not like they're entirely innocent. But if there's someone out there who's being forced to act as Inominat's mouth, like Kamoana was, isn't saving them the right thing to do? I cannot argue with that, but... You don't have to worry. I'm the one who will devour the barrier. And I'm the one who will do what needs to be done. Ja, bin immer gespannt, ob sie es dann letztendlich auch wirklich tun kann. The demon attacks have ground trade to a halt. But people are slowly starting to fish again. Are you a fisherman too? I... This town got swept up in the recent trade boom. But back when I was a young lad, this was a fishing port through and through. Ever since the shipping guild took over the docks, all of us fishermen got muscled out. Making this a commercial port has helped the town grow. But a lot of people weren't so happy with the guild. It's too bad everyone couldn't just work together. Once money gets involved, people change. That's true no matter what age you live in. The people know it's the ones making the money who lead the charge. But we follow anyway. It's human nature. I hope everyone changes their minds once we start rebuilding. But who knows what will happen. Okay. I don't know what will happen. Wir sind wieder hier. Hier ist ja gar nicht mehr alles in Flammen und so. Alles ganz schön repariert. Hallo. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sorry, I'm busy. Try someone else. Excuse me. My name is Eleanor and I'm an exorcist on patrol with the Abbey. I was wondering if I could solicit your honest opinion about how this town is being run. Oh, I didn't realize there was an exorcist with you. Yes, please tell the Abbey we want Lady Teresa back. Her governance was strict, it's true, but at least we could live in safety. Now, all the exorcists run off to the Faldi's ruins and leave us here in the lurch. They value some dusty, faraway ruins over the lives of the good, hardworking citizens here. It's just wrong. We've always been cooperative with the Abbey's demands, and now this is what we get in return. I... I see. The Abbey appreciates your, uh, candor. I'll pass your comments on to my superiors. Yeah. The Abbey. The Abtei. Die macht das ganz toll hier, ne? Ja, ganz toll. Die setzt sich richtig für die Menschen ein. Mm. Wie immer. First it was the sailors. And then even a small girl caught the demon blight. I was sure it was going to start spreading through this town as well, but then, after that incident, it just went poof and disappeared. I guess I was expecting a little more after hearing how contagious it was. I wonder what really causes it. Who knows? I heard of this one village in East Gand where everyone caught it at once. It wiped out the entire town. <laughs> I hope the Abbey develops a cure quickly. I can't wait for the day where we can live without fear. Ja, das 
Tag, an dem die Leute ohne Angst leben werden. Das fragen sie sich in anderen Regionen auch. Poor, poor Medisha. Are you a friend of hers? Yeah, she used to live just down the road from me. Medisha raised her daughter Diana all on her own. And then they up and murdered the girl. Murdered? By whom? The exorcists. Once Diana caught the demon blight, the damned Abby exterminated her like a rat. How cruel. I felt just terrible. But I suppose there wasn't much else to be done with her. But Medissa, she hated the Abbey for what they'd done. So she barricaded herself inside the sanctuary. She just kept on screaming, all like, demons have feelings too. What happened after that? I wouldn't have been surprised to see her executed. But luckily, she was spared that much. An exorcist stopped the guard who was about to cut her down, said, Don't kill her. She's receptive. Receptive, huh? I think that's their way of referring to her deep faith. Before all this, she was a real devout lady. That was certainly kind of them. Mm -hmm. Medusa really cherished her daughter. Can't much blame her for blowing up like that. But the Abbey, they don't care so much about feelings. Reason is all that matters to them. They don't take kindly to people disrupting their order. <sighs> yeah. Wo sind sie? Wo kennen wir sie? Ups. Ähm. Wie kommen da runter zum Geobaum? Wo ich das gerade sehe. Ist wohl hier hinten irgendwo rum. Und dann hoffen, dass ich da hinkomme, wo ich hin will. Soll hier generell auch noch drei Truhen geben. Und das Ding haben wir zuvor auch noch nicht gesehen. Bringen wir aber hin. So, siehst du, da ist der Geobaum. Ach, guck mal, hier ist der Ort, wo man dann hier runter kann. Ah. Ah. Alles macht auf einmal Sinn. Hier ist eine Kiste. Bernsteinmontur. Mensch, das ist ja... Nee, vom Vorvorgestern. Das können wir ja nicht mal anders gebrauchen. Aber es ist ja auch davon gedacht, dass es halt schon vor Ewigkeiten einsammelt ist, ne? Hättest du dich mal vernünftig umgeschaut. Wäre aber auch dann wahrscheinlich egal gewesen. Nun ja, kann man nichts machen. Ist halt wie es ist. So, aber ich kann jetzt durch die Gegend düsen. Yay! Düsen! Und an die Wände ran, an die Hauswände. Yay! Das kracht. So, was ist hier los? If you go north from Hellebees, you'll come upon the Faldi's ruins, which are Abbey property. Mainly, it's used as a checkpoint for hauling ore that's extracted out of Mount Killeraus. But between you and me, I hear the Abbey also uses it as a prison camp. A prison camp? Are they capturing demons? Heavens no! The demons they kill on sight. No, these prisoners are human criminals. Not long ago, this woman killed someone and locked herself up in the sanctuary. I hear she got hauled off to the camp. Why do you think the Abbey would use the ruins for a prison camp? Who knows? Maybe they need a place to deal out their harshest punishments. The Abbey's not known to be forgiving after all. <laughs> uh, but these are just nasty rumors I heard. Of course, I don't believe a word of it. Mhm. Mm Natürlich glaubst du kein Wort davon. Nein, nein. Ist ja naja, eine einfältige Bürgerin und so. I can't believe the demon blight has spread into the city now. Scary times. Well, the one who caught it was a little girl, so they were able to deal with her before anything bad happened. But the problem was that the demon girl's mother tried to hide her. That's only human nature. These are dangerous times. We dare not let our emotions control us. One person's selfishness could endanger the entire community. Oh, uh... Right. Thankfully, an upstanding citizen noticed something suspicious and reported the child to the Abbey. But the mother went mad and killed him in retribution. And what makes it all the more lurid is, 
I heard the man she killed was a fellow she was actually thinking about marrying. The daughter had been dead set against her mother remarrying. You can taste the irony. That's... that's horrible. Eh, she had it coming. If there's anything worse than demons, it's people who can't control themselves. So, Diana was a girl turned demon who was killed by an exorcist. And her mother Medissa hated the Abbey for it. And the Abbey is using the Faldi's ruins up north as a prison camp. It's a lot like what happened to Kamawana, isn't it? It's natural for a mother to love her own child. To make that a crime. What I'm curious about is the use of the word receptive to describe Medissa. So long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. If our interpretation of that ancient book is right, it likely means she's receptive to Enominat's power. Meaning they brought Medissa to those ruins where there's an Earth Pulse point, and then they made her into a Therian. That would certainly put all the pieces together, yep. Plus, if this Therian the Abbey created already hates them, that's all the better for us. Yeah, I imagine she'd be willing to work with us. Although, it sounds almost too easy. Did I jinx it? I just jinxed it, didn't I? Probably, but we won't find out until we try. True. Let's head for the ruins. And don't worry, you totally jinxed it. Okay. So, was I mean, auch noch frage is, um. Ich von hier aus keinen anderen Weg nach draußen? Na doch, egal, Eisspitzen kann ich jetzt raus. So, dann müsste ich doch dann da in den Bereich kommen. All these ruins are north of Helvis. The Earth Pulse Point is to the north too. Probably in the very same place. Im Bereich kommen, wo ich auch äh, das Material besorgen kann oder nicht? Helvis is different now, isn't it? Maybe, but you've changed too. True. When I first met all of you, I never could have imagined I would go on such a journey. I could barely even think then. But then Velvet let me keep this compass. And Aizen and Rokuro taught me to be myself. They certainly did. And look at Dial. He's a regular part of the Von Altia's crew now. Even Restless Bienfu and Grimoire are now part of our merry band. Yep! Hey, aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, and the prince and his <laughs> hawk and Koragane and Kamawana are with us. Listen, I've got more part in this tale than any of them. Hush. Whatever I'd say, you'd say it doesn't matter to you. At last you begin to understand me. Magic Hazam. Yeah, she she trägt aktuell nicht wirklich viel dazu bei. Insgesamt. Möchte ich doch meinen, ja. Ja. Ihr Tipp mit Grimoire war nicht so verkehrt. Aber, naja, es kann ja nicht alles sein. I didn't think Northgand would be this cold. But Northgand was Teresa's territory. Wouldn't you have been here with her? I think having my awareness controlled meant my senses were dulled as well. I see. But the cold doesn't seem to be bothering Aizen at all. In fact... Everyone else seems comfortable here. If you shiver at these temperatures, you'll never make it on the high seas. In my youth, I practiced the blade under the blazing sun and through raging blizzards. Besides, when I turned into a demon, extreme temperatures ceased to affect me. The same thing happened to me. I used to hate winter. So that's some good luck. But what of yourself? You seem to be handling it just fine. I'm freezing, actually. I don't know how you stand it. I loathe the cold more than anything. That's why I've armed myself with a secret weapon. I've stuck thin, yet powerful, cuckoo brand hand warmers all over myself! I even packed them in my shoes! Really? That sounds amazing! I'm willing to share, if you act like a dove. What? Go cuckoo, like a dove. Please share your cuckoo warmers with me. Cuckoo. Hmm, you're no velvet, that's for sure. <laughs> <lacht> okay. Ja, aber fand ich das eigentlich ganz putzig. Ich fand, sie hat einen guten Job gemacht. Expedition ist zurück. Sachen gibt's. So. Äh, jetzt kann ich aber hier hin düsen. Wie jetzt? 
Und eine Lawine hat den Weg vom Boss hier gemacht. Hier geht es nicht weiter. Das heißt, ich kann jetzt das Material da hinten nicht holen. Willst du mich verarschen? Na gut, okay. So. Das heißt, wir müssen jetzt wohin genau? Äh... Kunde die Ruinen vom Fall dies nördlich der Stadt. Da. Da wollten wir schon zigmal hin, oder? Ist das möglich? Waren wir nicht, nicht sogar schon mal drin? Ganz kurz. Könnte sein, ne? Hm. Wir sind da. Und da kamen wir eins nicht weiter. Aber wie das hier weitergeht, gucken wir uns dann an in der nächsten Folge von Tales of Pizzeria. Bis dahin, viel Spaß und noch vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis dann.